this video is going to show us how to create how to create a WLAN or wireless local area network by using Cisco packet tracer okay then here remember this is this is a w lan or wireless local area network okay this is w lan or wireless local area network we are going to create wireless network here we have wireless device you have to use links this is a router with antenna or an ap suppose that this is an ap or access point okay this access point you remember that all access point must have the default ip address even username and password but here I don't have it because this we are in cisco packet tracer but for the next part i will show you in real life then this is a router mm -hmm. and then we are going to connect laptop laptop even desktop even here we can write we can use tablet or smart device like smartphone you see here part it is dot does pdh or tablet pc is already connected but this will ask us the username and the password of this router then we are going to enter into this and this desktop or personal computer you see it is desktop remember on desktop we need to use wireless nick card wireless network interface card mm -hmm. but I'm, i will show you how to plug the wireless Card. then you are going to configure first of all we are going to configure these links open this router you see here graphic user interface you will see or we find many ap which is on that that has the mark of these links their interface it looks like this totally no different you see here we have default ip even subnet mask the dc the dhcp server it means this router will give the computers ip address automatically or it will use dhcp or dynamic ips you see this ip will start from hundred this is the network part which has three octet 192.168.0 this is a network and this is host part or host id then the maximum number of users will get the inter internet or will get the addresses it will be five you 15 50 users or we are use 50 computers or smartphone or devices include pc like laptop desktop tablet smartphone and so on but here we are going to start from two or let me use 100 okay then after to set this we have to configure wireless click on wireless then it will use mixed then default network name ssid let me write wireless or run um, as a wi-fi it's in a wi-fi let me write this okay save change click on save change there is no different with physical device 
for this graphical user interface of this router then we are going to set the security of wireless click on you see here on the wireless you have configured wireless name then wireless security it is disabled that is why you have seen that tablet and pda is already connected to the wi-fi then after we are going wpa to personal let me write etienne hello etienne at mm -hmm. then then save change okay after to save change mm -hmm. you can close this you see remember those two computer those two devices already connected to the wireless before but today but now it is not yet connected because we have already configured another wireless name even password you see then you have to click on this laptop or let me click on this laptop desktop mm -hmm. then you are going to click on laptop you see here pc wireless click on pc wireless you see a link is pc wireless interface is required to connect mm -hmm. then remember links is pc wireless interface is required to connect here on physical this is the modules mm -hmm. you have to plug this module this interface or you have to bear but before you have to power off the computer then after remove this component you see this is an empty space then you have to bring these links wpc uh -huh. then plug into here you see it has an antenna then after power on your computer it has wait then click here on desktop pc wireless you see links is no association with access point let me choose here on connect it has wait you see here we have wireless the signal is 100 percent then you have to click on wireless name then connect remember you have used etienne at then connect mm -hmm. let me check it is already connected let me check the ip address ip config you see you have it even gateway let me check on desktop remember you have to power off your computer and after remove this interface of network okay then bring this wireless you see those are the interfaces but this it has an antenna you have to bring this here then connect you see and after power on your computer then connect it to your wireless you see click on wireless name then connect then write its password etienne at then click connect it is already connected let me use this
to see it is already sorry here on pdh it is different you see into configuration we have wireless then here on ssd ssid we have to write it's here now okay then the key Then the key we have W P A two. Then the password is Etienne at. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's here now. Wi Fi, sorry. Okay, it is already connected. Even you can bring another smart device, then open into configuration. You will have wireless option, then it's here now. Wi Fi, remember it is SSID. Then you are using WPS2, WPA2, it's here now. At, this is a password then you have to power on or off in order to restart your device you see it's already connected even let me check this tablet on it is the same as pdh this is the wireless option it has we have to, to use Etienne Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. The authentication we have WPA2. We have password which is Etienne at. Then, after you have to power off and on in order to restart your device, you see it is already connected. Let me check this personal computer where you are going to power off in order to remove this card, this interface card or this network card. Then after bring this wireless card after power on your computer. Then connect the wireless. Click on connect. Have to wait. Then connect, click on wireless, then click connect, write the wireless password, it's in a at, then connect. Okay, you see, our router has a wireless configuration and all devices connected are connected to this. AP. This is a wireless local area network. Thank you for watching this video.